Well, a very good evening to you and welcome to the News at 9. I'm Chris Alden Lewis. Let's start with your headlines. The DAI's three provinces in the 2019 general elections. Today, the party launched its Western Cape election campaign in Cape Town. And as rescue efforts continue, at least 384 people confirmed dead following a major earthquake and tsunami in Indonesia. Well, the siren sounding and Pola to Rosette. Well, a very good evening uh, to you once again. Uh, one of the uh, top stories that we're tracking for you this evening is our correspondent, uh, Sherwin Bryce Peace, uh, who's uh, in New York on the red carpet, uh, uh, commemorating, of course, the centenary of uh, Nelson Mandela. We do understand with around two months till the much-anticipated global citizen event in Johannesburg, South African businessman Patrice Mutsipe, his wife, entrepreneur Dr. Precious Moloi Mutsipe, ministers Lindy Wesisulu and Jeff Khadir. Debe will appear on the stage at the Great Lawn in Central Park alongside world leaders, musical artists and activists where the legacy of Nelson Mandela will be honoured in his centenary here. Let's join now Sean Bryce Peace who is live at the Great Lawn in Central Park, New York. He's on the red carpet and I understand Sherwin, while this Global Citizen Festival takes place tonight, it's just two months to the one here in Johannesburg and uh, of course most importantly, is celebrating Nelson Mandela's legacy. Griselda, you hit it right on the head, that nail on the head. And as you correctly mentioned, this is a, per a preview of what South Africans can expect uh, at the FNB Stadium on December 2nd. You correctly point out that this is an initiative in partnership with many other sponsors, uh, the Motsepe Foundation really partnering with the Global Citizen Festival here in uh, the United States and around the world. And a huge South African contingent, some of the global advocates of South African. Nomzama Mbata is the lady in the orange next to me. <laughs> Uh, wonderful to see you again. I think the last time we spoke was at the BET Awards. Things yeah. are going really, really well for you. What's your message uh, at this event uh, today? My message is for all of us to be surgeons of humanity in the sense that do something and fight and advocate for something that is greater than yourself. I think for me, of course we love Global Citizen for the music festival, but Global Citizen is so much more than that. It's about really taking on the spirit of one of the greatest humanitarians that we were blessed to have, and that is Tata Nelson Mandela, and seeing and learning from his journey and saying, okay, great, now we sit back and we say, what is it that we want to advocate for? What is it that we want to change, especially system changes. What I'm most obviously very excited about is that from here I leave with the United Nations delegation and we're off to Geneva to go and bestow an award called the, at the Nansen Awards uh, for another humanitarian that's really doing uh, incredible work across the African continent. And of course December's coming, December 2nd is coming. I'll be one of your hosts on the main stage at Global Citizen Mandela 100. The point of this festival, you know, it follows high-level week at the General Assembly, President Ramaphosa, right. President Trump, everybody was right. in town. And it is really about translating the message that they try and deliver there to a more global, a more youthful audience, because yeah. that, that's the only way you are actually going to achieve the yeah. 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Youth citizenry around the world, in terms of those goals, is essential Absolutely. to us achieving them by the deadline of 20. Absolutely. I mean, uh, Nunun Jingila mentioned the other day that by the year 2025, a quarter of the world's population will be African youth. So that means that we must be we must be represented. We must show. We must somehow do something that's going to really change the narrative of the African continent and hopefully shift the paradigm of the world in a way that the world has never seen before. I believe it. I think it's going to happen. And it's good to be a part of Global Citizen Festival to know that you know, there are, there are systematic changes that are being put in place. You know, uh, Global Citizen started in 2012 and it was really an effort to eradicate poverty around the world, what, goal one of the SDGs. Mm. Uh, and as we mentioned, the youth are very, very important. They, they really tapped into the ability to use celebrity to bring <laughs> that message home because, you know, kids of today, that's kind of what appeals to them. Right. Who are you most looking forward to in terms of who's going to be performing? Oh, John Legend, soothe my heart, won't you, please? Cardi B, Shawn Mendes. I mean, all the girls are coming for Shawn Mendes, I'm pretty sure. And of course, the iconic Janet Jackson. I think she's going to be absolutely amazing. One of the hosts that I'm really, really excited about is... Um
Arivo. She's she's just a talent who is just really, really amazing and I can't wait to experience what we will get to experience in December. Good to see you again. Thanks for yes, stopping and talking to you. us. Thank you. Our very own Nomzamo Mbata of South Africa, but of course uh, she's making her way around the world working with the UN, doing the BET Awards, walking this red carpet. Uh, Chriselda, back to you. Well, Sherwin, just before we let you go there, we do understand that Ministers uh, Jeff Khadebe as well as uh, Minister Sisulu will also be on the stage today. What, were we ex what are we expecting to hear from them? What will they tell that 60,000 strong crowd? Well, the focus here is very much on the centenary of Nelson Mandela. You will know that at the U UN earlier this week, there was, of course, the unveiling of the Nelson Mandela statue. There was the very first Nelson Mandela Peace Summit. Uh, and so South Africa, of course, as they enter Criselda, the Security Council as a non-permanent member of on the 1st of January next year, wants to take the message and legacy and example of N Nelson Mandela into the Security Council. Remember, in the background of all these stars performing here is, is a message of reducing poverty, is, is a message of Goal 5, which is women's equality and, and uh, uh, economic empowerment. Uh, this is about the SDGs. And so what we will hear from, uh, I think, the South African delegation is how Nelson Mandela's example will help us achieve the, the sustainable development goals. Of course, we also plan to talk in a little while to Patrick. Dr. Precious Molloy Motsepe, of course, she has just been named co-chair of the Maverick, Maverick Collection. Melinda Gates of the Gates Foundation handing over that co-chairmanship to South Africa's uh, Dr. Precious Molloy Motsepe. So if South Africans want to want to hear more from them, do stay tuned here on SABC News. We have to speak to them on this very red carpet in just a little bit. Well, Sean, thank you very much, uh, certainly from your time live from the red carpet at the Global Citizen Festival. I am extremely jealous this